Have you ever had a dream that, 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 that you, you, what you can do?
skis failed. Kind of a bummer. You put a lot of time and effort into building a pair of skis and uh, you got this big moment of sticking it in and taking it out of the press and uh, just every once in a while you pull it out and it doesn't turn out like you hoped. With this pair um, I went with a clear top sheet as you could tell by my attempt at making some funky graphics on the uh, core there with the burning and the spray painting of the stencil, blah, blah, blah. And uh, yeah, so when uh, I pulled it out of the press, I realized that I didn't have even distribution of pressure, I would say. And that turned into a bubble, kind of right where the curvature of the tip starts. And uh, yeah, since it's got a clear top sheet, that's kind of a big cosmetic defect. That's not really a, you know, game changer. The big issue, is the base. It did not end up flat. I think with more pressure in the press it would have held the base flatter and then the epoxy as it cured would have locked it in place but without enough pressure it um, 
gave, you know, with that enough pressure, I turned the heat up in the press. It's about 80 Celsius to cure the epoxy, and when things heat up, they expand. If they have mo room to move, then they're going to move, and these ones moved in the form of buckling, and the buckling turned into, like, a wavy texture going on on the base. So, yeah, long story short, it just has a not flat base. And maybe if it was a shallow enough, you know, wavy texture, I could take it out with a base grinder. But this one wasn't the case. It's got some pretty big divots. I think uh, I have to spend a little more time forming my sheet metal and tuning my pressure in my press. But yeah, this pair is uh, at that point of not really worth pursuing any further. Um, Hoping to end this video on a really high, woohoo, check out this awesome ski adventure I went on on this brand new pair of skis I made. Note, but that'll have to wait till next time. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you then.